Nearly two decades ago, the first ever Amber Alert was issued in Washington State after a four-year-old little girl went missing. To this day, she has not been found. Our friends at Murder in the Rain podcast have more in this week's True Crime Tuesday. Four-year-old Sophia Juarez was playing in her bedroom with her young uncles in their Kennewick, Washington home on the night of February 4th, 2003. Just after 9.15 p.m., Sophia came out of her room and told her mother Maria she was going to the store with her grandmother's boyfriend who invited all the children to come along. After getting approval and a dollar from her mother, she left the house without the other children. Her mother assumed she got into the car with her grandmother's boyfriend to drive the five blocks to the convenience store. However, when he returned home at 9.45, he said Sophia had not gone with him. As Sophia was nowhere in sight, Maria called police and Sophia's disappearance was immediately treated as an abduction and the first ever Washington State Amber Alert was issued. A massive search commenced, including helicopters and thermal imaging cameras, but no signs of Sophia were found, and the Amber Alert was eventually canceled when she was not located within 36 hours. Police immediately began to investigate Sophia's birth father, who had not met her before, and the grandmother's boyfriend. Both men were ruled out as suspects early on. One of Sophia's family members, a 10-year-old girl, noted that she saw Sophia leave the driveway with a man dressed in a black sweatshirt, black pants, and black shoes. A few months after the abduction, police announced that they were looking for a vehicle with potential connections to the case. A witness saw a suspicious van in the area and provided details on the van and the driver. However, no suspect was apprehended. It seems little progress was made over the years despite the over 800 tips that were submitted. Luckily, 2021 has brought new information and a new witness to light. What police have deemed a highly credible witness came forward earlier this year, claiming that on the night of the disappearance, they saw a girl matching Sophia's description walking along South Washington Street near 15th Avenue. That is very close to Sophia's home, which was located on the 100 block of East 15th Avenue. According to the witness, a young Hispanic boy approached Sophia and steered her towards a late 1970s or early 80s work type van that was either blue, silver, or gray in color. The boy is described as being between the ages of 11 and 14, about five feet tall, with short, wavy, dark colored hair and a baby face. The suspect has not been located. A recent TikTok video has also given the family new hope that Sofia is alive and currently in Mexico. A homeless woman was interviewed by a TikTok creator who asked her how old she was. She said she thinks she's 22, but she wasn't sure because she was kidnapped as a child. Commenters believe she looked very similar to Sofia. Kennewick police have since been in touch with people claiming to be the family of the homeless woman, and they deny that that woman is Sofia. Kennewick police are interested in confirming via DNA, but there has been no update on their progress. When Sophia went missing, she was wearing a long sleeved red shirt, blue overalls, purple socks, white Converse shoes, and gold hoop earrings. She was roughly 33 pounds and three feet tall with her top four incisors missing. She's Hispanic with black hair, brown eyes, and has a mole under her eye. Sophia would be 23 years old today. There's a $10,000 reward being offered for information leading to the discovery of Sophia's whereabouts. Information about Sophia's case, who can they contact? Tips in Sophia's case can be submitted to Special Investigator Al Wehner at 509-628-0333. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to join us here next week for another True Crime Tuesday. And for more Murder in the Rain, you can follow them on social media and listen to their investigations wherever you stream your podcasts. Also, tune in to AM Extra every Tuesday morning for a new local case.